welcome new sponsors to the channel that is here in Forbes Machinery Warehouse and Optimum Machinery and to show you what has arrived today my new Optimum mill which I'm going to convert to CNC so here it is and the reason it's on a pallet and not in a box is because they've allowed me to purchase their the, well the last one of stock that they had on hand until the end of this month which is only a couple of weeks uh, is the one they had in their showroom so they very kindly packaged this one up for me so I could make a start um, mid-October on filming it's uh, actually fairly big it's as big as the my old mill I used to have and it's certainly as heavy it's um, 530 pounds so it's a fairly is my hand in relation to the size so it is pretty big um, so I'm going to unwrap it and unbolt it off the pallet and uh, put it onto a mobile heavy duty trolley that I have and uh, well we'll see what happens Okay, well there it is so far. Beautiful looking mach machine, very solid. Now I just thought I would show you, well the safest way that I could um, come up with to pick it off, or pick it up off the uh, pallet base. Uh, obviously around the head is the strongest part, make sure it's all locked up because you don't want to sort of put it all on the on the screw in inside the column because like I say this is 530 pound so you need to pick it up from the like the central mass well the central mass is sort of slightly probably over this way a bit um, but you know the drive motor is inside here and that is you know you don't want to put any weight on this at all so what I've done is I've come around the column to hold the lifting well nylon rope uh, off this box and put the or bearing weight then onto the column and underneath the the head so I shall take it very easy I shall just take the weight off the pallet and unbolt it and everything will be fine beautiful looking machine something interesting too there's a, a blinking plate here I'm just wondering whether I can put the put the uh, y-axis um, drive motor out of the back that's very interesting I didn't know it had that there rather than put a drive axis on the front similar to um, the Tormac 1100 of which this is a you know it's similar operating sort of size parameter what a nice looking machine
now I've got it up here, let's have a little look around it. That's mighty impressive. The size of that column. Big square heavy duty cast iron column. Extremely rigid. And I think it's an excellent choice and I, I believe that uh, you know, everybody that contribute, contributed to choosing of the partic this particular model for me to convert obviously saw the same thing that I have as well. Very very strongly built. So I suppose I better see if he works okay. So on the back of the controller here is uh, a power switch, which is the main power switch on and off. Okay. Forward and reverse. on. Uh, this incidentally is for the guard. I'll grab the guard. So the guard slips up inside there and um, when you pull it around this way it switch it you know shuts the motor off. But uh, you know we're not going to put that on for now. Um, light, the light up in here. Let me see, reverse, forward I suppose, that was 2500 RPM. Well, it's fine, as you'd expect. Okay then, I think that'll do for a, I suppose we can call it an unboxing. And uh, I think this is going to be a very interesting build. Uh, obviously the first thing I'm going to do is I, well, I'm going to strip it because I need to know, you know, the length of or rough length of the drive screws um, to order because, you know, there's no real information on the internet about them. Um, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope you come along with me to uh, enjoy the fun as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe and if you'd like to consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons behind the channel that allow me to do things like this to bring these high-tech videos to you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.